my sample. My sample is ju just to show you what I did, just to, to present to you some possibility. So there's two different beading foot. And you know, as usual, but I like to repeat them to you, you have to be careful the way you buy them. And there's some for five millimeter sewing machine, some for seven millimeter machine, some for nine millimeter machine. And there is one for narrow, uh, uh, wide groove and narrow, I have to read because it's easier for me. Wide groove, narrow groove. And when you buy, they come, when you buy them, they come on a blister pack. And at the end of, uh, at the back of the, of the uh, blister pack, you have a little instruction here on how to use it. There is more instruction I'll show you after the book that I'm, that I'm talking about. So uh, the, the, the narrow beading foot, of course, is for small beads, small pearls, small, small whatever, okay? And the big one is for bigger, so I guess you see the difference. Maybe I can zoom in more and close. Well, I, yeah, you see well, you see the difference in between the two of them. And then, did you ever think to put two rows together? Did you ever think to put, to add some thick cord or decorative cord uh, with, with these these two feet, yes, uh, with uh, another cording, type of cording, with a little bit of ribbon, with, um, well, the French word is entre deux, I, but I think it's the same thing in English, entre deux, okay? This is rat tail. This is um, decorative beading that you can find uh, easily in the store without and with some uh, cording on the side. So, We'll see some of these, uh, of these things here, of these uh, possibility here. And as you can see on the wall here, my presentation. So you see them all. You know, we have so much uh, in our uh, drawers, in our sewing, uh, in our sewing um, room. We have so many little things. And sometimes, wh when am I going to use this? You see, this is a bow, whoops, a bow with tulle and add uh, some uh, interesting beading around around them. So all this is done with these two feet. So this is the finished sample. Now I have sample that I will work with. I drop my, okay, it's here. So my samples, the samples I like to use, not the samples I like to use, I like, I have the uh, M7, so the, the feet are snap-on, okay? Of course, I'm gonna snap them, feet up. I can use my lock to lock, the, my lock function. I didn't use it because um, I'm so used to do it, but uh, you know, at home, be careful. Don't, don't do the mistake I do, or don't skip what I'm skipping, okay? It's easy to talk, huh? Doing it's another thing. So I have little samples here to show, to work with. And with this sewing machine, because Janome asked me to work with the Continental M7, okay? So I'm going into my application and these feet are optional. So I'm going to use the optional function, optional feet. And beading is there. Right away, everything is set. For me, I don't have to think. If you have this machine or similar machine, I'm using this machine and uh, I have other Janome machine. Huh? But you know what I'm teaching here? It suits to many Janome products. So don't, don't worry. Use what you have and uh, it, it will work the same. So... I asked, oh sorry, I'm sorry. So I asked, uh, I didn't ask, but it came out with narrow. And the width is there and the length, stitch length is already pre-programmed. If I'm not happy with them, I can 
enlarge the, um, the stitch and I can uh, increase the length. I hope you feel that I'm translating before talking. Eh? So I'm using a blue tip needle. Things happen, don't worry. It is possible that you will break some needles. When you, we start, you know, and I did, I broke some. And when you break it, you break it on, on the bead. So you, you don't want to do it, but if you do it, you break the needle. You didn't damage the foot, you didn't damage the needle plate or the bobbin case, don't worry. So beads are, or pearls are, uh, are needs uh, to be, no, I, I, you know what? I didn't translate that right. You need a, a thin needle, okay, size 11. Blue tip needle is the best, okay? So now I will cut, I will use a little piece, a piece of beading, uh, uh, no, not a piece. You understand what I mean, huh? I'm so shy to talk in front of the camera. I'm joking, okay? So, I, I'm afraid. What I do is first, I turn the wheel of the machine by hand to make sure I'm okay. So, <laughs> my, my sample has to be, hey, wow, am I not, I am on my uh, full speed, I won't slow down now. So the machine adjusts for me the stitch length and the stitch width according for the bead. But you know, I skipped one step. I didn't show you how to choose whoa, 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 the foot. Okay, I'm going. When you buy them, we don't always know the size of the beads or the pearls. Okay, I'm finished. Lock stitch. I want to lock my work. Okay, and thread cutter. No danger because um, the, 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 the thread cutter is underneath. And then I can use my scissors to cut. Okay, I'm cutting. And, mm, you know, talking, sewing, moving the camera. So you see, this is done. No, no problem. Then you see, hmm, I have how will I choose my foot? I will, without sewing, first of all, I have to insert this into my uh, lower depressor foot. And if I can move them, okay? Just a little bit of my fabric. If I can move them here, well, of course I cannot here because I have the feed dogs on top of that, but put them there. if I can move them it can if I can slide them easily it's good and when I'm slide them and my foot is stays on the stays on the machine I'm okay but you see here look at my foot so they are they are too big so I'm going to use the others hey look at this perfect it's sliding it's it, it, it's perfect if you say no me i just i'm gonna use always the um, l foot two all the time well this is a bit dangerous because uh no i want to use this one because you see it's going to move inside so th this is the danger to break a needle uh, you don't want to do this okay so just to show you how to work this one i'll do the wider one, the wider part. I didn't lock my machine yet. I didn't use the lock stitch. I know. Okay. And this time. Okay. Wide. The machine did it for me. But I can change them if I'm not happy with it. Or not. If I'm not happy, it's because uh, when I buy them, you know, there is what it is in, in the store, right? Huh? We don't buy these at the, the jewelry, jewelry store, okay? So I be very careful. By hand, I turn the end wheel, okay? Oh, I'm okay. So you see, it went over. 
So I'm going. Let's see. Oh my goodness, the, the, the stitches are too tight. And I'm not that happy. So my stitch land, I can come here and land the stitches or I can use this um, button and I don't want to see stitches. Huh? I, I prefer to see uh, my pearls. At the end, for sure, I don't want to do reverse with this. Huh? At the end, lock stitch. So you see the, the bees, the pearl stays in the groove. Cut, cutting thread. So the pearls are tendencing, a tendency to, uh, you have to hold your fabric very, you know, between your, uh, between your fingers because you don't want this to um, gather. See, at the beginning here, you want to gather. So then I hold it tight because of the stitches. I do prefer a stitch length longer. What I use here, I use a real thin thread and the thread has to be, but it depends again what you're doing. Or the color of the fabric or the color of the bead. This is your taste, the, your choice, I'm sorry. But I don't want to see my thread, so of course I'm going with the, um, with the color of the beads, okay? So this is plain, no problem. Then you say, I want to use the, I'm going to try rat tail. I'm going to do my test. Okay, foot down. Oh no, it's moving too much. Ay, ay, ay. So I need the narrower rules. Okay, always my, my thread. But you say, hey, my foot is there. No, I want to do something more special. Well, now I don't cut, I don't cut them. Okay, I want them to be longer than what I need. So why not doing two rows at the same time to enlarge the effect? Oh, look at the, look at the bobo here. Look. It's a, well, I didn't, I didn't buy them at the jewelry store. Huh? So to be able to put them, uh, not them, to put two together, okay. Okay, oh, this time I really need, so I use the white groove and this time I need to enlarge my zigzag and my stitch length. So I'm going, I keep moving the camera, huh? sorry. So I'm going to enlarge the stitch length to five and three. But don't take this as it's supposed to be. We'll, we'll start with this and then according to what you have. So with, with, the, my with the, the wheel of my sewing machine, I'm going slow, of course, lock stitch. Hey, I'm okay. So you see, with the long, with the wide, oh, I'm okay, I can go now. After I'm checking, you know. So, you see, with the, with the wide groove, I can put two rows. Okay, lock stitch. I'm using the foot control, I'm telling you right now, because then I'll remove it for something else that I want to show you. So you see, look at this. So one goes in between the other one. This is so simple, but sometimes it's good. It suits to what you need to do. Oh, this is even uh, not bad. Let's say you're home and uh, the stores is closed and this is all you have. Why not two instead of one big row? Okay. But if I can do this, why not doing, I'm looking for my, uh, Mm. Oh, they're here. My, eh, my piece of, uh, my little piece of, uh, 
Okay, I'll keep one, the small pearls, and one stitch, I don't like that. Okay, so this is polyester, okay? So I burned them a little bit, just a bit, just to melt it, but that will never show one. Huh? So what am I gonna do? Oh, the start is not easy. You have to, um, you have to, okay. I'm using the deep groove, the wide groove, I should say, wide. Push, push, okay, okay. One of each, one on each side. And I'm wide. So even if I sew, I'd be careful. Raise this because I see that. I want to push this one here. Okay. This is not a straight steam, yeah? So uh, you have to be... Uh, more uh, attentive uh, you know you have to pay more attention hey look at this even if i sew here if i'm too wide if my zigzag is too wide and i sew in here well this is like fabric so i just go okay i didn't pull at the back okay good i'm good to go looking at the camera at the same time because I want you to see well. I don't play too much with my tension. But if you want them to be loose, if you want the, the upper thread to be loose, you can decrease your tension. But I don't play too much with it. Okay, got this all here. There you go. So right away, Look how you can embellish. Look at this. Okay. You can do this with a ribbon like I did. Um, there's not one foot better than the other. It depends what you want to do. Don't forget your blue tip needle. So far, I didn't break a needle and I play with, uh, I play with the dangerous, uh, dangerous uh, uh, thickness of, uh, of pearls, okay? And um, now I have a little, uh, I'm always prepared, but uh, when, uh, okay, it's here. Look at this. So for sure this was not the one I, oh, look, it's perfect. Okay, so I can use this also. There's variety of many, many, rhinestone should i say okay color not colored so that's why your thread has to be thin to go over them you see i'm not using my i didn't use yet my uh, key function to lock my machine i'll go on this side because uh, this is in the way but i want to keep it so again so you know what it's always with a zigzag you use a zigzag to, to play with the uh, I don't need as wide. Oh, yes, I need it. Okay. So, let's go. Okay. I didn't press enough on my... And if I want, I can also use a longer stitch. You don't, you go according of what you have here, what you have underneath, and by the way, you know you have to put interfacing, huh? And do you see my, my hand? I'm pulling, I'm opening my, uh, I'm stretching my fabric to, uh, let me increase the stitch length very much for you to see the end. You don't want to see the thread, and eh? you want to see more. And monofilament, là, you know, uh, monofilament is a um, nylon thread. It's not for me. This is my mother's day, okay? Uh, it's too stiff, 
and uh, I, I prefer to use a thread here size or 80 or uh, 100 so what do I want to see I want to see the beads I don't want to see the thread but look at the good look at this that's huh? not bad at all and if you want to add more more than just a single row look here I add oh you know what okay so you see these are um, strand of um, little uh, how should I say not the uh, wire Th this is not flat this one is round while uh, this one is flat so you see cording round flat many thing exist and entre deux because I don't know the other word is this we use it a lot with the um, linen you know for um, gown nightgown I should say nightgown and I should say uh, um, uh, heirloom so I just put it underneath and my beads at the same time and I just went just so so what do I use on my machine the most? So this is exactly what I did. Underneath the small foot, the small, uh, the narrow groove, okay? I didn't need to hold this. I just need my hand to hold it, but I didn't need the, 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 the foot hold it. It's zigzag, everything is zigzag. You can play with the stitch with the stitch length, and you have a good example here. You see by the no I'm not at the right place so this is a rat tail as it's pre-programmed in the machine pre-programmed but I enlarge no I stretch stretch beyond stretch the stitch okay okay uh, when it's not your mother tongue it's like the tongue doesn't turn the right way in your in your mouth so you see a variety of, um, of what uh, the machine can do. Uh, and uh, of course, Genome has uh, many, um, many ways of uh, YouTube and uh, name it, okay? I'm going to move my camera because I want to make sure you see press of feet, addendum, okay, specialty feet. And they talk in this book, you have three, four pages about beading. So Genome provides that. So now I promise you, I promise, I told you at the beginning that now we're going to, to do something special. Okay. You all recognize Sashiko design. This is a little pocket I, I did. Okay. It's a little zipper pocket I did with fancy, fancy thread, fancy, uh, you know, uh, to practice your machine. This one is a built-in design in the M Memory Craft uh, 550. It's, it's good. It's, I like it. Uh, no problem. But my leftovers are here, but you see all line just Without a pattern, I have no pattern to refer to, you, to refer to you. But how would you like to embellish it with um, with beads or pearls sewn by the machine? I know you can all sew them by hand. The whole thing here, I have about close to 70 but I will have 70 with the last row that I kept for you so I will have 70 probably this took me maybe not even an hour how long do you think it would take you to um, to sew this by um, by hand either way so why do I show this to you just because I want to show you something else and I want you to be happy with your machine had to exp and to expand more um, possibility of the machine okay now I'm telling you don't be afraid but you will be 
So I'm changing my thread because I'm using this little thing pink and I want to use my pink thread. So I'm threading my machine. Whoops, sorry. Uh, I'm threading my machine with pink without locking. This is not great. Celine, you shouldn't do that in the holder. Okay, I'm ready. Will I use this one or that one? None of them. But I will need these. Turn it because this is where I want to do it. So I will need, of course, Janome, these tweezers and this one. Okay? A few rules. Number one, no foot control. So I'll remove the plug. Number one. Okay? Number two. I just want my lock stitch. This is just the stitch I need. Where is it? It's not there. It's not there. Of course, you're going to tell me, Celine, put your hand here. Oh, yeah? And if I forget? Oh. If I forget and it's on straight stitch, then it's going to start to sew. I just, just want my lock stitch. Okay, I'll go where the lock stitch is. Heirloom, do we have a lock stitch? Yes. Open the memory. Lock stitch. For sure, nothing, Ill, nothing will happen bad. So, do you know your lock stitch by heart? You know it's locking. How many locks do we have? So, I'm just going to use this piece here. Okay. I have no foot there, eh? but I need the foot holder to hold my fabric. If I don't put, if I don't keep my foot holder, the fabric will move with the needle. So I'm, I'll go slow, my speed down. My speed, should I say down? Lock stitch, it's flashing, that means you command me. And now I'm going to calculate. Start button, I have no more foot control. One, two, three, four. That's it. Thread cutter. So my lock stitch has four stitch, ch stitches. Okay. So this time, this time I'm using everything I can. So I want to do this. I kept the last row for you. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, I will use my hand wheel to make sure no that you have to see very close i think i'm okay so i'm holding my thread and with my hand wheel i'm going to make a, a uh, put my needle down just before the x just a little bit before press your foot down one stitch down, up, to bring my thread, my bobbin thread, okay, lock stitch, two, three, four, uh-uh, not enough, one, two, three, four, why it wasn't enough, because it didn't lock, so you can, you can use as, as many times as you want, okay, I'm coming here, I have no foot control. I cannot hurt everything. I can do nothing wrong. Okay? I cannot make a mistake. Now I'm taking some beads. Uh, some. Just one. Now you have to be careful. Okay? And I cannot use my lock function because when I lock it here, it's going to move and I cannot make this move. Needle up and you be careful. Okay? I'll push my needle, uh, my needle, my, my bead near my needle and with my, my turning wheel, one by hand, two, three. I didn't break anything yet, okay? And I won't, don't worry. Finish. Then, I come on the side. Why do I need those Janome tweezers? Because... I need to push my pearl to do another lock stitch. 
Oh, just two. How come? Because I use some of them to sew my pearl. Okay, keep going. Start. Oh, I want to make sure it's secure. Start again. Okay, finito. Cut. Finish. And this will move up. This will roll. See, they're rolled already. If they're not rolled, you help them. Okay? I repeat once more. I don't use my luck. And you have to be careful to this. You see I have my blue tip needle, huh? And I have a thin thread. This is size 80 here. But in my sample, I use size 100. Okay? So I hold it because I want to... I want to... Um, uh, take my you know, no <laughs> sorry I want to put my needle down just before the X because I want my bead to be right in the center of the X here okay and then when I say I turn my wheel this one this is what well, no whoops this is what I use here towards me always towards me so because i'm using the uh, m7 you know what huh? this one is brush the, the 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 wheel is brushless 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 okay one down to bring my lower thread up i want a nice job at the back okay and then start that's why i don't want a foot control so i make no mistake Oh, I want a bit secure. Twice. Lock stitch doesn't show, you know. And I'm moving nothing. My two hands are here. I cannot damage my needle. I can. I don't touch anything. My two hands are here. Okay. Then I take one bead pearls. Needle up. Not my foot up. Because then my fabric will move. I'm bringing here. But I be careful. I know. I know. Whoop. This one is, is alive. I know that I don't use my... That's why I don't use my foot control. I, I use my wheel. So I, break, I didn't break one here. So one stitch, two stitch, three stitch. Stitches, stitches, okay? Then I move on the side a little bit. Make sure you hold it out of the way. Lock stitch lock stitch if you say oh i'm so afraid i don't want to mend i don't want to repair after lock stitch as many as you want lock stitch for sure thread cutter the foot goes comes up and the needle up too and you keep going this way okay so now let's see some sample i'm moving the camera so i have one two three four more to do and then it'll be finished i'll, I'll put the zipper here it, and you know it's this is um, same fabric at the at the back okay i'm moving my camera to show you some of the my samples whoops so i showed you the pocket you saw but look at this no my camera is too close Okay, look at this, huh? it's, it's a nice gift. So this fabric is uh, satin and this is micro embroidery. So I just embellish the design. Look at the design here and look at the design at reverse without any, uh, any uh, beads or pearls. Well, I really like it. And all this done with the machine, wherever I want them. Oh, and I forgot to tell you something. You remember I was scallop? Fully line. Okay. Then this is a hand towel with lace. And just one strap. I put my lace first and then I add some, some uh, bead. And look, the others here, not this, but uh, look, you remember these things? My mother's kitchen windows. <laughs> okay, so a piece of uh, woven terry cloth and add beads. So sew this and add beads. 
it's it's uh, just a piece of uh, woven terry cloth and look at this one with bigger th these are narrow this one is wide beads uh, it depends what they have in the store and this is lace you know so it depends what they have in the in store in the store so um, the, there's no um, there's no end to the possibility just uh, your uh, imagination you take Pinterest is is very good to give the idea so I guess I'm over my time I'm sorry but 30 minutes uh, it's too too fast okay I don't take comments while I'm sewing I guess you understand that uh, my head is not a computer right? my head is a, a little memory okay so um, but I really appreciate all your comments I answer them one by one and by your comments you you ask me stuff and you you make me be better I hope be better so I thank you for all your suggestion all your comments and uh, I, first of all thank you for being there be patient with me and uh, I wish you pearls beads not real pearls just funny one just hobby one or uh, how should I say? Just uh, uh, sewing pearls, okay? So until next time, because they'll be with uh, next time, next week. So see you. Have a good week, everybody, wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye.